Hey guys, welcome back to Huga House. Today's video is an ultimate laundry motivation video. I hope that you enjoy. Please don't forget to like, subscribe, and comment down below. Um, so this is basically the routine that I use on a daily and weekly basis. And what I mean by that is I will try to do at least one load of laundry every day so that I don't fall too far behind. And I will do a larger load, um, including like bedding and things once per week. So I will typically go to each of my kids' rooms and see how full their laundry baskets are. Um, on this day, I had a huge load to do in my oldest son's room because I had gotten out some of his old clothes because my youngest son actually needs to move up a size in clothing and I had saved all my oldest son's um, old clothes and they're still in really good condition. So I just wanted to get those washed since they had been in storage and were kind of stale smelling. I should also mention that I don't separate clothes. Um, I pretty much strive to have a full load every time so that I'm not wasting water um, and money. So since we are a larger family, that is a concern for us, um, staying on budget and uh, keeping on track with how much money we're spending. So I will just try to put as much laundry as I can um, while also making sure that the clothes get clean, obviously. So what I like to wash our laundry in is just the Gain regular scent. Um, I use both the Gain laundry detergent and the Gain fabric softener and I just love the way they smell. I think they smell really fresh and it keeps the clothes smelling fresh. I have very sensitive skin and I have not had a problem with Gain um, or their scented laundry detergent. So whatever works for you. So like I mentioned before, um, my husband and my clothes are usually separate from the kids' clothes, so I will just take those out and I use a specific white basket typically um, to do that. Uh, I bring our clothes into our bedroom and usually our bed is made so that I can just lay the clothes on top of the bed as I, as I fold them. Um, and I like this white basket because it is wide so I can just put the clothes in the basket after I'm done folding them and my husband will typically help me put the clothes away. And the nice thing about our laundry room is that it's located upstairs and that's um, where all the bedrooms are so I don't have to go too far to do our laundry or to put the laundry away. One of the things I like to do to help pass the time while I'm folding laundry, and this is why I will bring our laundry into the bedroom, is watch a TV show. Um, and I've been watching The Tiger King, as probably many other people have, and uh, I haven't gotten very far into it. It seems interesting. Um, have you been watching it? Let me know in the comments down below what you think. So one way I've found to make the putting away process of the clothes easier is I will um, leave out the clothes that need to be folded or folded and versus the ones that need to be hung up. Uh, my husband and I hang up a good portion of our clothes in our closet. So I will just leave those out um, and go ahead and put those away. 
and I leave the folded clothes in the basket for him. When it comes to folding the kids' clothes, I will just stay in the laundry room and do it because it's easier for me to just make separate piles for each of them. Um, the only thing that I separate is the towels since those go into their bathroom, but I will make a pile of the clothes that need to be hung up and then I will make a pile um, for each of them for their folded clothes. So one for my daughter, one for my youngest son, and one for my oldest son. And the reason that I keep the clothes that need to be hung up separate is because I will just go get a bunch of hangers and hang up all of their clothes. Um, and I have a, a rack that you can't see very well, but it's on the wall of the laundry room. And it's really convenient for me to just hang up the clothes as I go. And then once I'm done hanging up all of the clothes, I can just take um, a handful into each of their rooms and put them directly into their closet. So the thing that I usually leave for last and that um, are definitely separated from the rest of the clothing are the whites. Uh, we have white towels and bath mats in our master bathroom and I like to bleach those because I just think it keeps them um, cleaner and whiter. So uh, I just use regular bleach along with the gain softener and detergent and it just makes them look really nice and smell really clean. And um, that's it. So that is it for today's ultimate laundry motivation video. I hope that you enjoyed and that this gave you a lot of inspiration and I look forward to seeing you in the next video. Bye guys.